All right, what's up, guys? Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, so, yeah, after today, I'm going to take a little bit of a much-needed break. I haven't had one of these in uh, quite some time. Um, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's always nice to kind of go back and, um, you know, just really put into perspective all of the new great things that we're doing on this channel and for some of you. Um, I think one of the biggest impacts, and this is kind of being going to be a little bit of the foundation and base for the topic of this video. Uh, but thank you for the 24 of you uh, that hired me for a consultation. Something new. Never really promoted it. Uh, I've always had it, and that, I guess now I'm promoting it. I've always had it in the description box. So, uh, yeah. A little spoiler warning. Uh, I have pretty much the whole month of April open if uh, anyone's interested in uh, signing up to uh, chat with me about anything. Kind of like the gloves are off. We've talked about everything from starting out in a hobby to selling coins, eBay, what do I have? Is it worth this? Is it worth that? Um, met every single person I talked to has been fantastic. And, um, but also talking to a lot of folks, there are a few glaring things that, that obviously is missing from the hobby. Um, and for those of you that are watching me, you guys have watched everybody else on YouTube and any other, other so social media, you know, it's all about here. This is what you can find. It sells for X and you can find this and then you can sell it for Y and Z and all that stuff. That's all good. That, that, that's, that's fine. You know, the, you, you do have to throw out a little, a little bit of something to work towards, but Obviously, if, if you don't know the basics, it's going to be even hard for just anyone to pick up that ideal, I, I, you know, that ideal that you can just go out, find this, and then sell it for that. And um, that is kind of like the unfinished business that I'm going to have before I decide to finally retire from YouTube, from the hobby. Um, because that day will come. You know, I'm not going to do this till I'm the ripe old age of 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, whatever, you know, age I live up to be. Um, but at, that is ultimately one of those things that needs addressing. That, that in today's society... There's really no great resource, direction. I, I don't know. There, there, there's no easy, direct way to get all of this kind of like basic information, right? They, like the Cliff Notes version of, of collecting coins, right? I've always said that... That... It takes years of education experience to really grow and be financially stable in this hobby to the point where it can be a full-time job. I know a lot of people that started out either at a really young age, at 17, 18 years old, you know, like 10 years ago, and now these people are, are, are full-time dealers or they're a prominent um, you know, PCGS greater, or, you know, they, they do this on social media and they do really well and that's their job. You know, I've seen many people reach that status and I've seen these people just really ultimately flourish, but it's a very, very minute percentage of people that actually take the time to develop, you know, and we're talking about people that I got to meet like 10, 12, 15 years ago. Um, so as you can imagine, a lot of those people are at the very youngest, probably in their late 20s. And they're probably crossing over into their 30s. And they're still considered pretty young, can really um, mesh with today's generation, much younger generation of social media and, you know, 
to just being kind of like that progressive go-to person to get all the information that they need about something, whether it's coin collecting or video games or finances, you know, things like that. So I'm kind of a little bit on the eight ball. And as I talk to you about my desire to come up with some sort of plan to get people onboarded. And that, again, you know, with all these great consultations I've had, 75% of the people that I talk to in the month of March are brand new. And each person is a little bit different. Like you kind of have to teach this one individual a certain way based off of what they want to get out of the hobby. Is it truly a dollars and cents thing? You know, yeah. How, how much time are they giving themselves to get to that point of maturation where they could feel comfortable with selling their own stuff or, you know, doing the secondary market buy, sell trade, you know, um, those type of people have a, a more direct, I need the information now mentality. Like they, they can't wait five years to get all of the education that they can. Now, the good news is there are resources out there, but they're kind of incomplete, you know, um, how, how do you custom tailor a specific type of educational plan that's geared towards someone who wants to see it more as a business than it is the hobby? While coin collecting is ultimately a hobby, you know, that everybody can enjoy, it's a multi-million dollar business. And there are people, there's even a few folks right now, uh, direct from those consultations, that I am mentoring for their brand new eBay stores, you know, to get them up to speed. Because obviously when you start out, you you have li these limitations and you could only list so many items. You could only list so many items of this dollar value and, and so on and so forth. And then what the idea is we want to try and fast track these people to far beyond that in a much quicker way. And that's all about kind of like the catering of the education to someone who wants to see it more as a business. They're fast paced. They're, they're like ready to go. Uh, they just have no time for the buildup. So the, what I'm proposing, and this is something, and this is also going to be something, like I said, this is kind of like my end game. This is ultimately what I want to achieve before I decide to hang things up. You know, a lot of you are going to say, well, you're still relatively young. I'm like, yeah, I'm still pretty young, but, you know, like 15 years, I'm going to reach to that point where, you know, I can elect to draw retirement if I wanted to, you know, um, and that's kind of just around the corner. You know, I've been in the hobby for well above 25 years, you know, since I was a teenager and, um, you know, it's like 25 years and then all I have less left is this other 15 years to develop a plan and an educational process that I think a lot of people will grow accustomed to adopting because it's going to be quick information. It's going to be stuff that's relevant to that person dependent on their kind of like educational uh, you know, what their outlook is, okay, with their ultimate goal. Um, and through doing so, you know, I'm going to be doing more of these consultations. I, I'm sure, uh, you know, I filled up my calendar in the month of March, you know, uh, which is kind of, kind of crazy because I was really busy in March. You know, as you guys know, I started on whatnot. So uh, in a sense, that's kind of like my, the, the business side of it, kind of taking over for me at this age, all the while still producing some of the educational content. And the idea is I want to be able to, to have some sort of educational footprint that is either free or incredibly low cost. Like you're not going to feel a thing. It's not going like going to college or a, a trade school and you have to cough up, you know, all this money. I mean, ideally we want it to be free. And that's something that 
somehow, some way, I'm going to have to integrate into my time over the next decade. So I hope you guys are ready for the ride because I ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Um, you know, you'll see more gray hairs on my head as we go through this. And I, I think I'm okay with that. And I'm willing to accept that, um, cause the brain power gets used up and then the gray hairs come out, you know, it, it's like it, it was meant to be, but it's all in this grand master plan to accommodate all of the newest generation of people. And, you know, even at 50, 60 years old, I hope I'm still able to somehow connect with a much younger audience. You know, people that are in their 20s, their 30s, you know, they're trying to get a foothold of what they want to do in life. And hopefully coins, paper money, and things of that nature are going to be something that they would consider. Because I think there's a there's a lot of, uh, lot of things I think we can develop within the hobby that, you know, that that will be everlasting. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm open to ideas on this whole thing. Uh, I hope when I, well, you know, after I'm done with my hiatus, which will be first week of April, I, I again, I'm going to be gone for about eight, eight to 10 days from YouTube. I'm going to be completely checked out. So, uh, you know, my apologies to, to the folks that are emailing me or that are messaging, messaging us through the live coin Q and a, I, I will not be there for the next 10 days as I, you know, recharge batteries and, uh, spend a little bit more time with family and, you know, getting to a point where I could slow myself down, slow down life. So that way I could be much more efficient. I could go through it with a much clearer head. So that way I could give you guys my undivided attention when it comes back when I come back. So anyways, uh, that's a little, kind of like a little sharing session that, that I wanted to, uh, talk about with you. Um, uh, and this is going to be my last video for a little while. So, um, the best thing that you could guys can do is, uh, go check out some of my other content. I know a lot of you have probably watched a good fair chunk of it. Um, you know, I do have like 1400 videos, and uh, you never know, I might throw up uh, an occasional YouTube short, you know, in the next uh, week and a half. Uh, I don't know, it really depends on how I feel. But, uh, you know, I think I think I really need this. And, um, you know, for, for my own health and well-being and for the love of the hobby, obviously, we all kind of need that break. So, uh, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you for all the views and support that you have given me over uh, a very, very awesome 12 years on being on YouTube. Um, I really just cannot state how much you guys mean to me. And um, I did one impromptu whatnot auction this, this morning. Some of you probably are aware of that. And it kind of came out of left field. But I'm like, hey, this is my kind of like my one last hurrah for the month of March. Um and it was a lot of fun. People had fun. Uh, you know, people made some deals. And I'm glad. Um, again, at the end of the day, it's not all just about the money. It's about connectivity with you guys on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And that's kind of like the reason why I uh, elected to do the consultation service. Um, you know, it's a small fee. It's, it's nothing. But, you know, you pay one fee and you get a lifetime of support uh, because it just doesn't end at some 45 minute consultation, but we, we get support, you know, we're, we're a, a community a family. Um, it's fun. It's intriguing. It's mysterious. It's surprising. Um, and it brings, it brings people together from all different walks of life. It doesn't matter what your political or religious background is. We all love this hobby because it is an escape from our normal daily life and we come to it, we talk about it, we share differences, we share likenesses and that's really what I love about it. And we're going to continue this on in the year 2023 and beyond and it's going to be a blast. So 
strap in your seatbelts and get ready for a unbelievable ride because things are going to get better and better and we're going to have even more fun. So, all right. I'll see you guys later. Coinaholics, we are discovering together each and every single day. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. All right. Take care. Take it easy.